We get a welcome. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. As you know, we're on our way to Anchorage, Alaska, and then from there we'll be heading to, as you all know, to Hiroshima, Japan, where the president is going to be uh, meeting with the G7, will be attending the G7 summit leaders. And as you can see to my right, I have the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, to talk about the trip and take any questions that you may all have. Bad, Jake. Thank you, Corrine, and thanks everybody for taking a minute today. Uh, as Kareem just said, we're headed off to the G7. The president will start his engagements in Hiroshima with a bilateral meeting with Prime Minister Kishida, where they will review the really quite extraordinary progress in the alliance over the course of the past two years. Can we go back to your meeting with Wang Yi in Vienna? A senior administration official who briefed us afterwards said that you talked about the spy uh, balloon, but called it an unfortunate incident that both sides are eager to move forward from. Should we take this as the administration thinking that this is an issue to be put to bed with no consequences to China? Well, it's not an issue to quote unquote be put to bed. Because, you know, the reality is that the president took down the balloon to send a clear message that we will not tolerate violations of U.S. airspace. And that position is firm and fixed uh, and something the president has communicated quite clearly, both publicly and privately. We feel that having taken the action uh, and having sent the clear message about U.S. sovereignty, territorial airspace, territorial integrity, uh, that we have made our point, and that's where we are right now. 